Hi there. This is a video about proportions and similar figures. What I first want to do is identify, well, what is a proportion and what does it mean to have a similar figure? So a proportion is when you have equal fractions. All right. And similar figures uh, is when you have the same shape but different sizes. All right. And what I want to do is, is link these two concepts together. The first thing I want to talk about is solving proportions. So let's take a look at what a proportion is and what that would look like. So the first thing we want to talk about is, are these two fractions equal? Are these, are these numbers proportional? And one thing that we can do to figure this out is to, is to find a decimal approximation or a decimal value for one half. If you take 1 and divide it by 2, then you get a decimal value of 0 0.5. And if you take 4 divided by 8, you get the same decimal of 0, uh, 0 0.5. So when you get the same decimal value, then yes, these two fractions are equal. But we can also do this thing what we call cross multiply. All right, And this is going to be huge. Um, for our ability to solve proportions, all right? So one thing that we can do is we can sit here and we can say, all right, um, if we were to cross multiply these by doing one times eight, all right, is that equal to two times four, okay? One times eight gives us eight, and two times four also gives us eight. So there are two ways for you to determine whether or not fractions are equal using the decimal approximation or by cross multiplying. All right, so let's say that we wanted to solve a proportion. And what we would want to do on that is we would want to solve this equation for x. All right, it's a little bit tricky here because we have fractions involved. But what we can do is we can cross multiply. So we can take 3 times x and set that equal to 1 times 12, okay? And so this is an equation that you can set up and then solve that equation for x. So we're then going to get 3x is equal to 12, and we can solve that equation by dividing both sides of that by 3, and then we get that x is equal to 4. And that's how you would solve a proportion. Okay, now our goal is to take the concept of proportions and apply that to similar figures to find missing sides of shapes, okay? In this case, we want to figure out what this length of this rectangle is, all right? So we can assume that this is a rectangle. All of these angles in here are 90 degrees, all right? And what I want to do is set up a proportion. Now, there's a number of ways on doing this, but here's how I would approach this. What I look for is I look for, all right, I have uh, in this rectangle, I have a small side and I have a large side. I have the same thing over here. I have a small side and a large side. So how I go about this is I go, I'm going to go small divided by large is equal to small divided by large. Now, you can do this a bunch of different ways, all right? And I'll show you that it doesn't exactly matter how you do this, but what you can do is we can take the small side of our small, tr of our small rectangle, 3, and divide it by our large side, which is 7. And we can set that equal to our small side over here, which is 6, and divide that by x, okay? And we can then solve this equation for x, all right? And let's go ahead and solve that. Um, let's cross multiply here. 3 times x is equal to 6 times 7, all right? And so 3x is equal to 42. Divide both sides by 3, and you get that x is equal to 14, all right. Now, this isn't the only way to set up this proportion. One thing that I like to do is I kind of like to go, um, it's kind of hard to explain, but I like to go small divided by small is equal to large 
over large. And what I mean by that is I can take my small side here, 3 over 6, and set that equal, so small side divided by small side, is equal to 7 divided by x, okay? And so the same thing happens. Now, when we cross multiply, look at what we get. You get 3 times x is equal to 6 times 7. You get the same thing. So it doesn't matter how you set this up as long as however you write your first fraction is how you have to write your second fraction, okay? So whatever way you want to go about this. Now, you could go... Um, you know, 6 divided by 3 equals x over 7, um, however you want to do that. Um, and so, uh, you know, if we've, we can finish out this equation here and get 3x is equal to 42, divide by 3 on both sides and get x is equal to 14. All right, so that's the goal, all right, is to solve that equation for x. But you are the one that has to create this proportion based off of a picture, okay? So you just want to make sure that you line up whatever fraction you line up over here on whatever you create, the next one has to match, okay? And you got to make sure that you're using all the sides that you're given. So hopefully this helps. Please reach out if you have any questions, and we'll see. talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye!